Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to siphon water out of a drinking glass with a normal drinking straw. So the way a siphon works is when you have a tube or a straw that can extend below the surface of the water and you can pull the water up through the straw and then the mass of the water below the surface is strong enough that it can pull it out of the glass or basically up and around. And so what you need is basically any straw or a tube that won't let any air bubbles in and is long enough to pull something out of a container and then below it. So first what you'll want to do is you want to fill the entirety of the tube with the liquid. So I'm going to try to not let any out. And then you'll want to have with the tube full you want to have the liquid or the straw in the top of the liquid and then the other end lower than the outside. So as you can see right here, the water is basically being pumped out of the glass on the left and into the glass on the right. And you can see the water level go down. And this one is limited by the length of the straw. So right here, the, the left side is too low for the straw to pick up. So then the tube filled with air and the siphon stopped. So just like that with a drinking straw you can siphon up that much liquid. But I also have a tube that is longer than a normal drinking straw. So this will basically work the same way and it will siphon all the way until the two levels of the liquid are equal. Got some air in it. So right now the siphon has started and it will go until the two levels equalize. And this is a principle used by people when they want to drain a gas tank or basically get any liquid out of a surface that is elevated or higher than where you want to dispose of the liquid to. And this can make it look weird that liquid is flowing up and over a container when you would think that a liquid one would stay in the very bottom. So these two glasses should go until they equalize and it will slow down because the pressure difference as they get closer together the pressure difference is lower and lower.